And hello, I'm with uh, Srikant Sesh, uh, CEO of Unified. Hello, Srikant, how are you? All well, Leon. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Did I pronounce that right? Is, is it Unified? Because it's actually U-N-F-Y-D, isn't it? That's right. It's pronounced Unified, even though the spelling is whatever it is. Okay. Uh, we pronounce it as Unified. Uh, so the, the primary reason is bringing all the digital channels together under one single umbrella. So that's the premise on which... Um, like the, the name has been coined. Got it. Because on your website, it says Unify was born from a frustration we and most customers face with interacting with brands. I thought it was pretty straightforward. That's all good. So listen, what? tell me what led to you getting involved in this business. Obviously, every, every founder and, and CEO of a business starts with a mountain to climb. What, what was your mountain? So, so primarily, like, if you look at uh, this entire uh, so-called digital transformation happening out there in the market space, right? there is so much of proliferation of technology, but I don't think no one has really put the customer as the crux of the journey. Right. So technology has widely adopted. There are multiple uh, role players within any organization. Everyone has their own agenda. Somebody focuses on uh, Facebook. Somebody is on Twitter. Somebody is on uh, Voice. But you and me are not concerned for them. And like you know, that's primarily where the entire uh, frustration happens uh, for you and me, especially with uh, so much of digital uh, technology going around here. Got that's it the background on which we decided to uh, get into this uh, journey of uh, putting a platform together or like you know what we want to offer to the market space in terms of why technology has to come in and deliver a solution which is primarily enabling a better customer service uh, for the markets so was that a personal journey before it became a company Srikant? Is, is that how you started with this is you just kind of think you know i can solve these problems absolutely so predominantly like you know, i have been on the consulting space for a very long time before i kind of you know, ventured into uh, building a product or a, uh, like you know the technology framework journey kind of a thing and most of our engagement has been looking at how do you leverage technology for the betterment of either it's a process operation or your ecosystem facing uh, uh, activities and predominantly as an enterprise whether you look for your customer or you look for your partner or your dealer or whoever they are they are not really kind of you no know, main focus in most of the technology initiatives that enterprises are taking whether it's a smaller or the large one and mm -hmm. that's primarily kind of you no know, uh, draw me into a phase where i looked at how do we leverage technology to bring better experiences across the ecosystem partners like you know however small they might be and mm -hmm. the customer predominantly is the crux of your entire uh, enterprise and that's primarily is my larger focus in terms of delivering better customer experience by leveraging all these tools and technologies, whatever you have out there in the marketplace today. Yeah, and so, I mean, there are a lot of technologies that touch a customer, aren't there, nowadays? Um, what, are, what are the bit common building blocks that you're, you're playing with then from a technology standpoint? If you look at the digital adoption over the last five years, it has been, again, various of these tools like, you know, the Facebooks or the Twitters of the world. People started getting into that particular footprint so that you are in very close proximity to the customer. I think that was just a starting point of the journey. Where we wanted to focus is, like, you know, not just about going and responding to the customer, but really understand what is the meat behind these conversations, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a frustration going on? Is there somebody who is really, like, you know, wanting to buy something and then you could reach out to them? So <laughs> over a period of time, what we looked at is how do you bring all these conversations across channels into one common melting point? And yeah. then start building analytics because today there is tremendous amount of data with any yeah. organization. There is significant amount of data going on about you and me, but I don't think anybody is really doing a kind of an analytics on top of that to understand what exactly it means now, right? Like, you know, Ian yeah. is talking about this in this particular forum. He's well, like, you know, making a comment in this particular uh, thing. He did a transaction with me. Is there some kind of a relationship across all these touch points and then how do we have a better engagement with uh, yeah and whether in terms of uh, responses or in terms of offerings and what have you i think that's primarily where this new age uh, the ai technology even though it has been there for a long time people have been predominantly focused on uh, siloed uh, what you call the ai approaches which is mm. predominantly focused on structured data which is what is there in your core uh, systems it could be yeah. a core banking system or an insurance systems or whatever but now with 
the non uh, structured data like the facebook data and the twitter data with the gene ai coming in it throws a whole new bunch of opportunities for the so called marketers and uh, enterprises to look at and also deliver a better experience to their customers view points how do you merge the structure and the unstructured together to come up with a kind of a you know, better analysis in terms of who who is your customer like you know what is he talking about what is he doing and then you know, how do you go to him with the better offers better loyalty plans and what have you i think that's primarily where the new age gen ai capabilities like the large language models and stuff like that has kind of you no know, propelled the entire in delivering better experiences to the marketplace i i think that's that's an interesting play to be in today it's, it's still early days but i think like you know over the next few years definitely it's going to see a totally different dimension in the way you and me are treated by our service providers yeah and i i know that some companies have developed customer data platforms so so obviously they're trying to build together all of their data into one place and create this 360 degree view is that solving the problem or or is it just part of the solution so it's it's a basic necessity like you know unless you have a coordinated uh, data input about the ian right you don't really know what you're dealing with but mm. the primary problem is like you know if your platform which are kind of you no know, collating all the data or siloed uh, platforms if i do not understand who is ian in facebook versus who is ian in uh, the twitters and the instagrams of the world how do yeah. i correlate that particular data with your my core banking data or a core insurance data or a telco data or whatever that data is so that is primarily where the biggest problem comes like you know as much as you want to build a cdp but i do not have a common thread which says okay ian here is this 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 and hence all these data has to merge so to kind of you know break that particular journey is primarily where now we are talking about building a common platform irrespective of whether ian comes from facebook or twitter or whatever to a first hand know your customer kind of a journey right then and there hence you can syndicate all the data and then what happens is all the data are all meshed together and you don't need yeah. to then start building a new data platform and the cdps and what have you i think that's primarily is what we are kind of you know, propagating to the market yeah yeah and what what do you think of that all of that journey where's the what's holding customers back from moving into this i mean i guess one of the challenges that i see is they've got a lot of investments already in all of these systems haven't they definitely like you know uh, i think one is uh, the investment second is somebody at a digital uh, uh, what do you call transformation or whatever title they have has to take a very holistic view point nobody is yeah. really taking a leap in terms of um, this is what i'm going to do over the next two years given my issues that i have in place like you know my data is sitting in a separate environment uh, my uh, digital uh, experiences are in a separate environment this is the transition that i'm going to do and hence 6 months later 9 months later i'm going to have a culmination of all the data put together in one single play and that's going to be the platform which is going to transition me into my next transformation journey i think that is yeah. something which is missing everyone is still looking at very siloed piecemeal kind of an approach even within large banks at least from my experience within india a uh, facebook is being managed by a digital uh, cio separately yeah. uh, twitter is managed separately mobile is with somebody separately so none of these guys converge together and hence the enterprise fail to realize the benefits of all the different uh, investments that they have made that, i think that's the biggest problem that we have in hand yeah so so i think you know one of the things that i've i've seen in my my career strikant is that Uh, increasingly now decisions are getting made by department managers who have got hands on close understanding of what the problems are perhaps and it's moved away from the center with the chief technology officers and chief information officers and now digital officers and really the budgets are getting spent by the department managers but uh, i think one of the challenges with that of course is that data quality and these data hubs are not a, a very close to the end user are they at the end of the day everybody needs that quality and it's expensive to to get that right so is that one of the challenges as well the way that we're making decisions around technology is is kind of acting against this kind of bigger change absolutely your point on i think like you know the biggest problem today is choosing the right technology and choosing the right technology stems from the what you want to achieve right as much as like you know there is so much of digital uh, uh, interventions that's going on across all the enterprises none of these things really lead to the final journey that you want to achieve in terms of delivering better experience because if you do not have the customer interaction data merging with your marketing experience data 
merging with your other uh, uh, social and the digital data together yeah. i wouldn't know who's yang right and there is yeah, absolutely yeah. nowhere in my in the world that i'm going to be right in positioning a upsell opportunity to you or a cross sell opportunity to you because it will be a waste of time right mm-hmm. which is a significant uh, point in case where india there is so much of like you know technology investment that's currently underway you could be having a lloyds bank uh, credit card but they will still call you and then try to sell the same credit card that you already have that's primarily because <laughs> not because there is no technology it's just that like everything is distorted no one talks to yeah. no uh, like you know uh, each other that's because the strategy at the top is absolutely missing in terms of what they want to achieve and everyone is looking for within 3 months what i can achieve within 6 months what i can achieve i think this journey is not about 3 months and 6 months this journey could be a 18 month journey but then like you know you plan it properly so that you can syndicate because in the last like i would say maybe 10 15 years of our journey has always been a very siloed kind of an approach like you know people have mainframes yeah. people have uh, unix systems and all kinds of data sitting in 10 different places today how do you get all of them together into a common melting pot which then becomes your approach from from your go to market whether you are in the servicing game or in the yeah, marketing yeah. game or in the sales game lead gen game i think that is the missing point that is the sore point why we are not realizing the benefits of all the investment that has going in gone in or even like you know which is be going to go in got it got it and tell me so you've obviously encountered customers that are looking for this this very complex mix they're looking for a quick roi on their investments they're looking for Uh, they want to see a solution uh, and of course but then they're saying well but i want it personalized to me and it has to be my data so w- when you kind of find yourself in those situations for accounts how is how is unified approaching this how are you how are you helping them to go to the next step okay so one is like you know it could be a smaller pilot right let us say uh, for argument's sake Uh, someone is looking to leverage the gen ai uh, capabilities to automate mm-hmm. some of their um, uh, processes right like you know it could be uh, email automation it could be uh, uh, automation around the chatbots and uh, voice bots and stuff like that those are all small uh, pieces which can work in silo you don't need to have a kind of an umbrella strategy or whatever it is because there is a email coming in which needs to be addressed right so one could yeah. take those small point projects which can easily be looked at and then we can attack it but then mm-hmm. when you are looking at a cdp kind of a game plan then it becomes a larger uh, kind of you no know, strategy longer duration and stuff like that so most of the time that we engage in uh, client engagements we are looking at what are you looking at you are looking to enhance your operations efficiency typically a query coming to you gets answered in 2 days do you want to reduce it to 2 minutes do you want to reduce it to 20 minutes so if you want if that is the strategy and eventually you want to reduce your 200 manpower team down to 20 over a extended period of let's say a year or something like that okay then this is the project that we want to look at i think that is yeah. primarily where we break it down so today some of the uh, client engagements advisory engagements or project execution are, um, are around email automation right for uh, right. customers who have got 200 people sitting and responding to email we are telling them your team size could become 20 in the end of the year it could be yeah. voice conversation like you know uh, you want to call into a system and then make your uh, claim uh, understand what insurance policy that you want because the llm uh, capabilities the uh, open ais and the uh, gemini's and the bards and the watsons of the world have taken yeah. this entire what you call game to a totally different uh, level so people really need to look at what are the sweet spots that they want to take make some quick pilots and then like you know, get on with it and then you need to choose the right sort of technology and that's primarily where like you know we work with the client engagements and like you know point solution which could turn around uh, let's say within 3 months you can see some sweet spot uh, success emerging and then make it a 6 month uh, a game plan to make it roll out and stuff like that that's that's uh, the kind of a model that we adopt so really uh, part of that then is to is to answer the quick wins that that are at that department level but always have this kind of 360 degree vision of where you're going with it through cans I guess I, I suppose if you're doing that though the 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 tech platform you're using is going to be key isn't it because you don't want to create more silos with the data in the systems right absolutely right so like you know that that's primarily where enterprises have to go into but I think the building a, a 360 degree view of the customer could be a standalone project which can be executed by somebody 
right which will eventually be leveraged by all the touch points within the organization but mm-hmm. while that part, part of the journey is going on the other part of the pieces cannot be compromised because market is moving at a different pace customers are expecting a lot more uh, demanding uh, experience real time uh, experience proactive responses so you still need to do those silos but eventually somewhere like you know you need to start plugging into the main mainstream cdp platform 360 platform or whatever it is so enterprises need to have this kind of a balanced approach so both can go in parallel and somewhere like you know maybe a year 18 months down the line things will converge and make it a lot more interesting yeah i'm de- i'm just curious actually shrikant i mean you talked about gen ai earlier what are you what are you seeing as the, the kind of impact points with generative ai and ai more generally at the moment in the the customer experience space that you're in where, where is it where is it coming into the tech, into the actual this is useful space so it's, it's already at least from an indian context it's already in play right like you know yeah. because the human capacity that is involved in um, answering uh, customer email voice conversations from customer whether you take a bank or a insurance agency or a asset management company is significant amount of human talent that is sitting and taking calls mm-hmm. there is tremendous amount of attrition happening so you need to train these people training costs are becoming huge even if you train the people again you cannot understand the insurance product by just attending a 5 day training right it's such a vast game plan even if you have done your best of your finance education and whatever you still don't understand insurance so mm-hmm. then there is a challenge in terms of delivering the best of the experience i i think that's where gen ai capabilities fits in perfectly well but we have seen success in our consulting and the solutioning experience that we have done where mm-hmm. one of the large uh, insurance company sun life insurance which has a, a, a joint venture with a large uh, nbfc group in the country where they are talking about like you know uh, 200000 emails coming to them every month and wow each of these email the tag for them to respond is two days right in this digital world two days is a crime right i send a mail asking you when is my premium due you don't respond to me within 5 minutes like and i consider it as an absolute lack of a, a customer experience or customer empathy so yeah. given that kind of a pressure that is primarily where genai kind of a tool comes in very very uh, efficiently and delivering rapid responses so like uh, currently what we are doing with the genai when email comes i dip into the core banking system i dip, dip into the core insurance system anything that you want i can also dip into the knowledge portal i'm able to respond to the customer well within 5 minutes and that mm. is at 95% accuracy obviously yeah. it's not an easy thing to do there is bunch of uh, like a you know, background work that you need to do in terms of prompt engineering uh, personal information protection there are a lot of governing principles that are there provided that is taken care of you are today reducing a two day window to a five minute window so yeah, that right. adoption is happening and that is happening across the journey like you know there is another interesting use case when you talk about corporate bank account opening like as an enterprise you want to open a bank account with a bank they come and ask you some 30 different document they ask you for your uh, registration certificate with uh, the uk government they ask you a gst certificate they ask you a memorandum and the articles and your bank statement and your id card your wife id card there is like so much of data that comes in and each of these things are again being manually scanned through against your application form and they typically take 7 days to complete a process and finally say good to go or i need so much of additional set of documentation whatever that is the journey that they have been going through we have yeah. brought this entire thing down to 30 minutes yeah. so like you know you need to look at these switch spots like you know where there can be a real real impact so yeah, yeah. these are the kind of areas where we are definitely seeing wherever there is service which is kind of a non revenue generation area that's primarily where there is significant adoption of uh, these uh, tools I just wanted to ask one last question around this and obviously uh, as you, as we said companies have got a lot of technology around this space they've got a lot of different channels to customers um if you've got a company that basically says well look we don't know which bit we need to focus on yet you know there's there's so many of these building blocks we know it's not where we want to get to but we don't really want another proprietary technology coming into here we've got we've got enough problems with technology we've got do you provide that con- consultation layer to kind of help them to work out where they've got to and where they're going yeah so like you know most of the time uh, people really do not look at a platform per se to start with right they are looking at again uh, a bespoke kind of an approach right yeah. so like you know you could build very specifically for me and then you can deliver it for me 
that could yeah. be good for a, a walmart or a nhs or a, a lloyds bank kind of a journey because like you know they are huge and like you know even if we build it and give it to them they can manage it on their own they don't need to be depending on me and uh, stuff like that so again within uh, enterprises one build versus a kind of a ready off the shelf kind of a, a, a platform which is at least 80 90% ready that strategy depends on the kind of an enterprise you are the kind of a technology investments that you are going to do and amount of data that you are going to be looking at internally and stuff like that so yeah. that uh, kind of you know, issues are always going to be coming uh, every now and then Trikans, we're out of time thanks very much for joining the program and i look forward to seeing you at the generation digital magazines event on the 24th of october i think so for anybody watching yep. the program on the channel if if you want to meet up with Srikanth and asking a few questions about your customer experience and where you can go with it then you'll have the opportunity to do that Srikanth, for today thanks very much for your time thank you ian thanks for having me my pleasure good day all right bye bye